Good evening, everyone. I'll try that again. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Excellent. Welcome to Thomas S. Wooten and our award ceremony. Can you give it up for this fabulous uh, jazz combo here? So this jazz combo, members are Jay Cannon on the soprano sax, Charles Little on the alto sax, Joss Euler on guitar, Jason Wang on piano, Jonathan Chi on bass, and Eric Cho on set. The jazz combo is a pickup group of passionate musicians. Everybody is a senior except for Charles, and everybody has a J in their name except for Charles. <laughs> Seriously, these students are awesome, not only as musicians, but as young adults. Eric Joe on set was recognized as the best soloist at our recent jazz band adjudication, and Jay Cannon on soprano sax represented Wooten in the Maryland All-State Jazz Band. They are going to perform one more song for us, and then we will begin our program. Thank you.
Thank you, Jazz Combo and Miss Susan Ackerley under the direction of Miss Susan Ackerley. Good evening, students, parents, and invited guests. Students, you're looking awfully nice tonight. Well done. On behalf of Wooten's administration and leadership team, we welcome you to this evening award ceremony. Tonight is a celebration. It is a celebration of our students' individual and collective efforts at excellence. We have so many talented, engaged, and all around awesome kids. Tonight, we congratulate you on your efforts and achievements and your greater contributions to the Wooten community. And this evening is also about thanking you, students. Thank you for sharing your talents with the Wooten community, and thank you for being lifelong learners whose academic and extracurricular pursuits are worthy of being celebrated and applauded. We have an ambitious program, uh, so we will begin with our departmental awards. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Stephanie Lady, the Arts and PE Resource Teacher. Ms. Lady. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I have the privilege of awarding our visual and performing arts students. And to start us off, excellence in Studio One Art, Sonia McArdle. <laughs> Outstanding achievement in Studio One Art, Megan Ziafat. For outstanding achievement in Studio One Art, Madeline Zink. Okay. Outstanding achievement in Advanced Studio Two Art, Ace Daniels. Excellence in AP Studio Art, Andrea Kim. <laughs> Outstanding Achievement in AP Studio Art, Jamin Day. Excellence in AP Photography, Tyler Buzzy. For Excellence in Photography One, Charles Friedman. Outstanding Achievement in Fashion Production, Melda Saramet. For Excellence in Fashion Production, Claire Walker. For Excellence in Ceramics One, Lillian Badeau. For, 
for Excellence in Advanced Ceramics, Sonia Berlinger. For Outstanding Service to Ceramics, Alexis Miller. For Excellence in Advanced Painting, Victoria Makrovich. Excellence in Painting 1, Kate, Kate Sepnaparat. I think I just got that one. For Excellence in Foundations of Art, Nora Shire. For Outstanding Achievement in Choral Music, Elizabeth Ipe. For Excellence in AP Music Theory, Gloria Jang. Outstanding Achievement in Jazz, Eric Joe. Outstanding Achievement in Orchestra, Dare Kang. Outstanding Achievement in Orchestra, Benjamin Lee. Outstanding Achievement in Band, Claire Dew. Also for Outstanding Achievement in Band, Diego Velez. The National School Orchestra Award goes to Jean Kim. For outstanding dedication to the theater arts, Jonah Geisner. Outstanding achievement in theater, Claire Walker. Outstanding Achievement in Technical Theater, Leo Hertzler. Every year, the MCPS Superintendent highlights the contributions and achievements of high school seniors in fine arts programs across MCPS. Our Superintendent's Performing Arts Award for Instrumental Music, Jasmine Gong. <laughs> Su 
Superintendent's Award for Visual Arts, Charlotte Kristovich. The Superintendent's Performing Arts Award for Theater, Jane Samborn. <laughs> Superintendent's Performing Arts Award for Choral Music, Elizabeth Ipe. <laughs> the National Society of Arts and Letters recognizes juniors in the Washington, D.C. area high schools with awards for excellence and certificates of merit. These honors document students' art, artistic talents in art, dance, drama, literature, music, instrumental and vocal, and musical theater. Our National Society of Arts and Letters Excellence in the Arts goes to Rakeem Emanuel. <laughs> the National Society of Arts and Letters Certificate of Merit goes to Anderson Bernal. National Society of Arts and Letters Certificate of Merit goes to Sarah Bach. <laughs> National Society of Arts and Letters Certificate of Merit, Andrea Kim. In recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is presented to Jay Kanan. And lastly, in the arts, in recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in instrumental music for singular merit in loyalty and cooperation and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires, the John Philip Sousa Band Award is presented to Jasmine Gong. Can we have one more round of applause for our visual and performing artists? And as our artists have a seat, I am going to pass it on to Ms. Laura Parsons for social studies. Hi, good evening. The following awards are in recognition for students in advanced placement courses in social studies. Students were selected by the instructors of these courses based on their exemplary academics and interest in the field of study. These students demonstrated hard work, hard, strong analytical skills, and excellent participatory skills in the classes for which they are being recognized. In APNSL, Nico Dorazio. <laughs> AP Economics, Christopher Yeh. AP European History, Alex Dupree. Okay. Thank you. 
AP US History, Catherine Chow. AP World History, Trisha Sayal. AP Comparative Government, Catherine Sororkin. <laughs> AP Psychology, Richard McDaniel. <laughs> AP Human Geography, Hannah Eisenfeld. This year, the department wanted to recognize a rising senior uh, in, in a new award. The Excellence in Social Studies Award goes to a student who has demonstrated proficiency in research and writing and has excelled in a variety of the social studies course throughout the three years that they've been here. This year, we'd like to give the Excellence in Social Studies Award to Zara Okudo. Thank you very much. And now I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Nick Hitchens. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Parsons. Good evening, everybody. My name is Nick Hitchens. I'm one of the administrators here. Thank you all for joining us. You'll see me popping in and out uh, throughout this evening's program to introduce uh, our kind of special outside guests. We do have a couple um, non-school-based awards that we're presenting tonight. Um, so I'm going to do that in just one moment. But before I do, um, I also have an award to present. Uh, this is the Rensselaer Medal. Uh, a Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute official is not able to be with us, so I am going to present the award on their behalf. Um, and so for what it's worth, the Rensselaer Medal was first presented in 1916 with two purposes, to recognize the superlative academic achievement of young students and to motivate those students towards careers in science, engineering, and technology. The medal is awarded to promising secondary school juniors who have distinguished themselves in the mathematics and sciences. Uh, this uh, $30,000 a year merit scholarship is guaranteed for four years uh, for each medalist who applies, is accepted, and chooses to enroll at Rensselaer. Uh, and lastly, that uh, actual official medal will be presented to enrolling medalists in the fall of their first year at Rensselaer. So I would like to present uh, the Rensselaer Medal to Anusha Iyer. And we will make sure Anusha gets her certificate and her medal. Uh, so next, I would like to bring up um, a, a, a dear friend of the Wooten community and, and of Wooten itself. Um, Ms. Kathy Lavender uh, is, has been, a, again, um, in, a, a part of the Wooten community for quite some time. Uh, her late husband, Dr. Michael Doran, uh, passed some years ago, and a scholarship was uh, given in his name. Uh, and since then, every year, uh, we have um, recognized uh, some Doran scholars. And so to present the uh, Dor Dr. Doran Scholarship Award, uh, Ms. Kathy Lavender. Hi, everybody. It's great to see you, and it's really, really nice to come back to Wooten, and especially to be able to meet with you all in person. What a, a gift. And I have to say, I feel Michael's spirit here, and um, I know that he still cares about this community, as we do. So we started this award in 2016. So this is our seventh class of Dr. Doran Scholars. And my family, um, the children, Sam and Emma, who are big kids now, um, and uh, two other college board members, Maggie Farquhar Thomas and Charles Lynn, who are also like family to us, um, we read the essays each year. And I will tell you, it is a gift and a blessing to hear about your lives, to experience these snapshots of moments, events, issues, people who've touched you. 
and we see um, all that you've come through and uh, it indeed warms our heart. And we're so, so touched that you take the time to write and tell us about what's going on in your life and reflecting in the context of the work and the, the spirit of Michael Doran. Um, and for all of you who applied this year and, and sent an essay and told us about your work at Wooten, truly we enjoyed reading all of them and appreciate your effort and am so impressed with all of the work that you have done and we know that you're all set for bright futures ahead. So this year we are choosing five students for Dr. Doran, as Dr. Doran scholars. They'll each get a, a check for $5,000 and um, I'm delighted to bring them up now. The first one is Giselle Gillen. at the end? Okay. Our next Dr. Doran Scholar is Anna Keneally. Congratulations, Thanks Anna. So much. Thank you. We're trying to meet afterwards for photos. Hey, I'll just tell you all, if you come up here, we're trying to meet at the end for photos at the outset. We like to put them on our website and brag about you. Um, the next uh, Dr. Doran scholar, James Moo. Our next Dr. Doran scholar, Jamie Ryer. Sorry that Jamie couldn't be here, but we'll get this to her. Um, our fifth and final Dr. Doran Scholar this year, Logan Simmons. Thank you all, and our best wishes. Good evening, everyone. You know, it's really hard to follow a $120,000 scholarship and then the $5,000 scholarships, but I have the priceless Miss Bolden signature and my signature. So hopefully, hopefully this, this will do it. My name is Keith Burnham and I am the math resource teacher. I am honored to recognize two special groups of math students. Those students who are the top performers in multivariable calculus BC Calculus, AB Calculus, and AP Statistics, and those students who went above and beyond the daily classroom requirements, attending weekly afternoon practice math sessions so they could test their math abilities against other students in the county, state, and the nation. The award for the Excellence in Multivariable Calculus, Alvin Wu. Should be the, it should be the top one. Excellence in BC Calculus, Krishna Priya Tiparaju. Excellence in AB Calculus, Zara Akuto and and Yushin Wang. Is Yushin here as well? We had three winners of the Excellence in AP Statistics. Samantha Boltz. DeRay Kang. 
and Nicholas Q. Certificate of Distinction in the American Invitational Math Exam. Alvin Wu and Haley Tien. Oops, Haley here. Participants in the University of Maryland Math Competition. Tagondo Chatterjee. Dennis Chunikin. Vincent Lee, Sanak Roy, and Alvin Wu. Congratulations to all who excelled in our math programs. I will now be followed by Mr. Tony DeRosa, the World Languages Resource Teacher. Thank you. Great, this should be in order. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Mr. DeRosa resource teacher for the World Languages Department. It is my pleasure and honor to tell you about our Excellence Awards. Each year, we recognize seniors who have pursued their chosen language through at least level four in Chinese, French, Latin, or Spanish, and have earned the letter grade of A each and every semester. In American Sign Language, where three levels are offered, a recipient will have completed level three, and also, as in the other languages, have earned nothing but A's each semester. And so, please join us as we celebrate the accomplishments of these stellar students. For excellence in American Sign Language, Hannah Eisenfeld. Sage Gardner. Adeline Gully. Anna Keneally, yeah. Samantha Kimbus, Jenna Simon, Nicole Wasserman. And for excellence in Chinese, we have Justin Wang. For excellence in French, Manaf Alampala. For excellence in Latin, Charles Mash and Brian Wong. For excellence in Spanish, David Engel, Ethan Podbereski, Rizel Serrano, Shelby Cantor, Vanshika Garg, Helena Hansen, Nicholas Jones, Sofia Kaplanovich, Elizabeth Nelson, Catherine Cohen, Richard Jones, Nima Munshi, Giselle Gillen, Andrea Kispe, Brady Weiss, Nicholas De Palma and Olivia Kim. Our heartfelt congratulations to our wonderful world language students. Thank you so much. And now I believe we hear from Mr. Nick Hitchens again.
Thank you very much, Mr. DeRosa. I do appreciate it. Uh, I have a next award, but I was, I've been unable to check in with the gentleman. Is Lieutenant Colonel David Nagel here? All right, we're going to come back to that award because we're expecting a, a, another esteemed guest, uh, this time from the Air Force. Uh, but instead, uh, I am going to turn it over to Mr. Zach Lowe, who's presenting awards on behalf of the e ESOL department, um, as well as the English department. He's the head of the English department. Mr. Lowe. Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm... Uh, Zach Lowe, and I'm here to first read awards for ESOL students for excellence in ESOL. Sorry, actually, um, yes, that's correct. Give me one second. So we will start with um, student of the year in ESOL. Um, I'm going to be sharing some notes from these students' teachers, uh, Mr. Ring, who could not be here tonight. Uh, the first award goes to Heather Huang. Mr. Ring shares that her calm demeanor and can-do attitude when dealing with new and uncommon vocabulary test questions alongside work from other content areas in English is impressive. What's more, her strong work ethic and determination made it possible for her to both attempt and succeed in AP Microeconomics this year, a, challenge, uh, a challenging feat for a multilingual student learning English. But most of all, her optimism is infectious, inspiring both her teachers and classmates and everyone around her. Congratulations, Heron. For most improved ESOL student, we have Jermaine Ingoss. Mr. Ring notes that Jermaine took a roundabout way to get here at Wooten by way of other countries and other school systems. His first day of school in MCPS and at Wooten happened virtually, followed by his first in-person classes in March of 2021, where he was one of the only students in his class attending in person. Hey, congrats. <laughs> However, once more normal experiences at school began to return, he rose to expectations and learned what he needed to do to succeed at Wooten. He made it happen. Congratulations, Jermaine. All right, now we have two um, for excellence in creative writing. Our first award goes to, sorry, Leah Pratt. In addition to being a strong and imaginative member of Miss Evans' creative writing class this year, Leah submitted a short story to a young writers' competition with a theme of unsolved crime writers. Her story was selected out of 8,000 entries to be published in a young writers' anthology. On behalf of Miss Evans and the Wooten English Department, congratulations, Leah, on this major accomplishment. Our other student for excellence in creative writing is Aisha Mirza, sorry. Um, Ms. Evans notes that she is an innovative writer, one who enjoys exploring other avenues and mediums for storytelling, like she did for one project where she used the Sketchbook app. Her stories have been an occasion for the class to listen and laugh and delight. She has also been open to a mature vulnerability in her stories, writing about personal history and family. Congratulations on your creative work. We'll now um, look at awards and publications. Um, the first going to Excellence in Literary Magazine for Gina Kumaran. <laughs> Mr. Hardy notes that Gina has been an integral part of keeping LitMad running through the pandemic, as well as keeping fun and essential traditions and fundraisers alive and well. In addition to her contributions to LitMag, Mr. Hardy notes that the yearbook couldn't have been completed this, sorry, the yearbook couldn't have uh, been completed without her as well. Her commitment to Wooten publications in and outside of school has been a mark of her passion and leadership. Congratulations. Our next award for the Excellence in uh, Literary Magazine goes to Is Isra Kadri. Is 
Mr. Hardy notes that Easter is one of the brightest students he's had in his years at Wooten. He remembers being blown away by the lucidity of her Romeo and Juliet essay in freshman year and was impressed that she had maintained that level of excellence all the way through her final semester of AP Lit. He says even on a good day, he might not be able to write an in-class essay as well as Isra. Congratulations, thank you. Our next award goes to excellence in yearbook for Edna Adisu. Mr. Hardy notes throughout the year, Edna showed some of the best creativity in the class. Some highlights of her work include a spread featuring family recipes from different students reflecting their cultural backgrounds, in addition to a spread in which hi uh, that highlights student athletes who compete outside of known school sponsored teams. The cover for the spring supplement will also feature her design work. Congratulations. For excellence in newspaper, we have Luke Jordan. <laughs> Ms. Starr notes that Luke has been involved in newspaper since his freshman year as a staff writer. In his sophomore year, Luke was the opinion editor, and in his junior year, was back page editor. As COVID radically altered newspaper production, Luke adapted his role to what was needed. In his senior year, Luke has been the online editor-in-chief, posting every single article, almost 500 of them, running the website, managing multiple social media accounts and all advertising, and single-handedly overseeing a team of writers, editing their articles and photographs and nurturing them as journalists. Because he enjoys it, Luke has also assisted with the print magazine, helping page editors to design, create, and perfect pages across all sections. As a footnote, Luke is also the third of three brothers, all of whom have served as Common Sense newspaper editors-in-chief. Wooten High School thanks Luke and the entire Jordan family for their impressive contributions to Common Sense. Thank you. And finally, for excellence in English, Anna Keneally. Ms. Starr, again, notes, Anna excelled in both AP language and composition as a junior and AP literature and composition as a senior, consistently producing thoughtful analysis of poetry and prose and earning near perfect grades in all quarters. Her discussion of text was always at the highest level of critical and creative thinking. Anna was also involved with Common Sense Newspaper all four years of high school, holding positions as center spread editor, the front page editor, finally editor in chief in her senior year. In that role, she single-handedly led teams of writers, editing their writing and photography, and nurturing them to be better journalists and future leaders. During her senior year, Anna wrote a regular column for Common Sense called Anna's Book Nook, where she reviewed her favorite books and encouraged her community to re uh, enjoy reading as much as she does. Her unabashed passion for writing and for reading earned her the English department's highest honor. Congratulations, Anna. Thanks, everyone. I will hand it over to Ms. Hansen, who heads our Arts and Humanities program. Thank you. I have uh, th two awards to give tonight, and um, I'm going to ask the uh, students who have received them to come up and just stand while I talk about them. So uh, the first award that I'd like to give out tonight, we're giving to two people. Um, and it is the Jamie Hogan Memorial Award. Jamie Hogan was a humanities and arts student who graduated with the two, sorry, graduated with the class of 2006. And she was killed in a car accident in 2007. And as a way to honor her, um, her parents um, came to me and said we would like to put together an award for an award for her and when we were talking about what the students would look like who um, who would get this award we decided or her parents decided that the student would have to have an activist nature uh, care for others and a sense of fun and adventure in life the winners of the award will be able to select an organization to which a $1,000 donation will be made in their names to that cause. 
And in this year, we would like to recognize two young women who are, I would say, social activists uh, for their own causes. And I think Jamie, if Jamie were here, she would love to meet these two women. May I please have Kelly G. and Mia Mikowski come to the stage. Um, I'll go ahead and focus uh, a little bit on Mia. Um, I have had Mia in class now for two years, and she is an amazing person in so many different ways. Um, just to give you a little blurb, uh, Ms. Bet Smedberg, Mia's physics teacher, says this of her. Mia makes me laugh right out loud every day. Her energy, her humor, and her joy, even in times of struggle, are extraordinary. She is all in all the time. All in with her classmates, with the material, with me. It's clear she lives her life wholeheartedly. It's been my great honor to be her teacher in and out of class, and I can't wait to see what she does next. I have to say, I, that is the perfect description of Mia Mikowski all in, all the time. And I think the title of her AP Research Project paper tells you a little bit about her. Uh, it's entitled, New Anti-Semitism Online, an Analysis of Activists' Accounts Portrayal of Israel on Instagram. And this is something that she feels very passionately about. Please join me in congratulating Mia on winning the Jamie Hogan Memorial Award. The second award I'd like to give tonight goes to the 2022 Humanities and Arts Student of the Year. Each year, a student from the graduating Humanities and Arts class is singled out for being an outstanding exemplar of a Humanities and Arts student. I am proud to announce that our 2022 Humanities and Arts Student of the Year is Joshua Friedman. I would tell you that, as he's making his way up here, uh, he has earned a 4.71 in high school, including taking, count them, 12 APs. He earned a designation of five on his AP research project, and it was entitled Historical Art to Facts, an analysis of how Hamilton, an American musical, shapes Maryland high school students' understanding of American history. I must tell you that I've never had Josh in a physical class before. He was online during the year that he took AP research, so I only got to experience him from a distance. What I can tell you, however, is that Josh is in many ways the perfect student. He's funny, attentive, he keeps his camera on. <laughs> He's curious and questioning and thoughtful and hardworking. He knows it is through effort that he will succeed. And even though he is extremely intellectually gifted, he backs it up with a stellar work ethic. Uh, the humanities and arts teachers in selecting Josh really felt that he embodies the best in a humanities and arts student. Next year, he'll be attending the University of Michigan in the Honors Program. For his consistent excellence in the Humanities and Arts Program here at Wooten, it's our distinct pleasure to recognize Josh Friedman as our Student of the Year. Congratulations. Hang on. And I would like to introduce Mr. Michael Thompson, head of the science department. Well, good evening, everybody. My name is Michael Thompson, and I am the science resource teacher 
And I stand here tonight representing a very strong team of science instructors who are very excited to be back in the building this year to get back to dissections in the classroom, acid-base experiments, and even PCR laboratory techniques in molecular biology. Uh, we as a group have decided to represent a, a group of students that have excelled either in science competitions or excelled in the classroom. But really, we are proud of the work that everybody has done this year. So to start us off, the first award goes to our United States physics team semifinalist. Now, by earning that distinction, this person earned the right to come into Wooten while everybody else was on spring break and take a three-hour exam. <laughs> but we just found out this week that uh, that exam earned him silver medalist honors, Mr. Jiayi Wu. Next are Science Olympiad captains, who are not only responsible for uh, representing Wooten very well in competitions, but also grooming the next generation of uh, Science Olympiad competitors. They are James Mu, Jiayi <laughs> Wu, and Brian Lim. Similarly, our Science Bowl A team, I would like for them to come up. Uh, they represent Wooten very well in our competitions and also help uh, create the skills for the next uh, teams for the next couple of years in our Science Bowl teams. Uh, first, Srijacho Chatterjee. <laughs> Sia Badri. <laughs> Arman Salchak. Claire Deng, and Diganto Chatterjee. Next, some of the class awards. First, excellence in anatomy and physiology, Riley Batkin. Also in uh, excellence in anatomy and physiology, Joshua Mursky. <laughs> excellence in forensic science, otherwise known as the CSI award, Ted Otengo. <laughs> also earning Mr. Samford, Captain Samford, CSI award, Navitha Paranthaman. And Captain Herzon's Captain Award goes to Jonah Geisner. <laughs> Next, excellence in molecular biology, Mr. Ethan Fain. <laughs> also earning excellence in molecular biology, Ms. Ellie Metz. Excellence in Honors Nutrition Science, Zoe Rozdilski. <laughs> Excellence in AP Biology, Anna Keneally. <laughs> Another one for Excellence in AP Biology, Krishna Tiparaju. Excellence in AP Chemistry, Iris Yang. Also for Excellence in AP Chemistry, Cedarbrandt Walter. Excellence in AP Physics, Dennis Chunikin. And another for excellence in AP Physics, Ryan Kim. Yeah. 
Next, our Science Service Award goes to an individual who was highly instrumental in organizing school-wide programs such as uh, school-wide science tutoring, fundraisers for uh, science efforts, and for the Science National Honor Society. Somebody who really helped keep me straight throughout the year, Ms. Dara Kang. And finally, the Science Departmental Award. Uh, here we get together as a department and discuss individuals who have not only made the most of the opportunities in the Wooten Science Department, but really excelled every chance they got the opportunity to do so. This year's recipient goes to Ms. Samantha Keller. who did okay on an optics quiz today. Thank you. All right, congratulations to all of the Science Departmental Award winners. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Hitchens with a few more special awards. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. So one of our uh, special guests was unable to be here uh, this evening. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel David Nagel from the Air Force, uh, his flight got delayed. Um, so instead, um, I, so instead you got me. Uh, so you have, to, <laughs> you have to do your best to imagine me clean shaven uh, in an Air Force uniform, full regalia, all right? Um, and I am, uh, I would like to say a few words uh, about our recipient, but I would like to bring him up here first. Um, and so accepting a four year appointment to the United States Air Force uh, is Mr. Jason Wang. Oh yeah, gotcha. So this is Jason, and I am now. Uh, I do have a speech by Lieutenant Colonel uh, Nagel. Um, so again, uh, please again. Close your eyes, imagine me in full Air Force regalia here. So hello everyone, my name is Lieutenant Colonel David Nagel. It is my pleasure today to represent the United States Air Force and the United States Space Force to present an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. This appointment is going to a very deserving young man and is the equivalent of a four-year full-ride scholarship at a top-tier university. The Air Force Academy accepts only the best of the best. This year, over, the, uh, over 10,000 applicants, only 1,220 were appointed to enter the academy. So you can see how truly outstanding Jason is. Jason will join the long blue line, becoming outstanding leaders of character in the world's greatest air and space force. To develop as leaders, cadets at the Air Force Academy take part in a wide variety of programs, including flying aircrafts, free fall parachuting, competitive athletics, military training, and foreign exchange programs around the world. At the end of the four years, they will have earned a bachelor's in science in their choice of 28 majors and will be commissioned as second lieutenants in either the US Air Force or Space Force. For graduating cadets, the end of school is only the beginning of their adventure. They will take the skills and knowledge they developed at the Air Force Academy and will serve in one of 33 Air Force or Space Force officer career fields for the next five years and longer if they choose. They will continue to develop leadership and professional expertise for as long as they can serve as an officer. Graduates of the Air Force Academy have gone on to be uh, Rhodes Scholars, titans of industry, politicians, generals, heroes, athletes, and astronauts. I can't wait to see what great things Jason will do. So without further ado, on behalf of the President of the United States, Jason Wang is hereby appointed as a cadet in the United States Air Force Academy, Class of 2026. Congratulations, Jason. Congratulations. Wait, I have one request. My mom's over there, and she, the only reason why she's here today uh -huh. is because we get a picture. So can Excellent. you get a picture, please? Of course. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, one second. My mom wants a picture. <laughs> yeah. uh, you might want to use the Zoom. So. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. 
Next, it is my pleasure uh, to bring up DJ Parham, who is a uh, fraternity brother from the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. Uh, they present our book award every year to uh, students that are um, particularly active in extracurricular activities. Mr. Parham? Good evening, everyone. First, I would like to say, before I even begin my speech, the level of achievement and excellence in this room is astounding. I've never seen, I mean, I don't even know if I'm smart enough to give this speech, the, uh, the, the level of achievement in this room, but uh, I appreciate you having me. Uh, my name is DJ Parham. I'm honored to present the African American Book Award on behalf of the Silver Spring Alumni Chapter of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Ours is a proud fraternity of men that was founded on Christian principles and achievement. My chapter's book award program was established 37 years ago. Through this program, each year, we recognize selected junior and senior high school students in each Montgomery County public school high schools who have distinguished themselves in academic excellence and extracurricular activities. This year's recipient of the Thomas J. Wooten High School is Landon Townsend. <laughs> this year, we selected the book, The Black Agenda, Bold Solutions for a Broken System by Anna Gifty Agerman, a Ghanaian-American researcher, entrepreneur, and writer, graduate of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, mayor of Mark Ustar Scholar, and current graduate student at Harvard University's Kennedy School. The Black Agenda is a collection of essays featuring black scholars and experts across economics, education, health, climate, and technology that seek to address the question, what's next for America, on the subjects of policymaking, mental health, artificial intelligence, climate movement, the future of work, the LGBTQ community, the criminal legal system, and more. We are grateful to Thomas J. Wooten High School for allowing us to participate in this year's program and are proud to present a book selection in Kindle format, a Kindle tablet, and certificate to Landon that reads, for our standing achievement in academic and extracurricular activities at Thomas J. Wooten High School, signed by our poll mark, Victor Barkley. Congratulations to Landon and to all these year's graduates, graduates and academic awardees. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Paul Turner. I'm here to present a few awards on behalf of the Career and Technology Department. The Excellence in Computer Programming Award is given to two students each year who have shown innovative and creative approaches to their solutions, along with a passion for programming and problem solving that extends outside the classroom. This year's winners are Anthony Sorkin and Angela Zhang. The Excellence in Web Design Award is given to one student each year from our web development courses who excel in all of their assignments by showing mastery of the content, plus adding their own creative flair to the web pages they create. This year's winner is Jameen Day. The Excellence in Networking Award is given to two students each year from our IT and networking pathway. These students have demonstrated exceptional critical thinking and problem solving skills while configuring routers, switches, and end devices along with implementing addressing schemes. This year's winners are Nadia Mayrovich and Parth Misha. <laughs> And finally, the Outstanding Intern Award is given to a student intern who demonstrated excellence in their internship during their senior year. 
This year's recipient demonstrated excellent attendance, professionalism, and provided weekly reflections that showed growth in both knowledge and skills. She skillfully built relationships with her coworkers and expertly managed her schedule at school and her internship, even providing time for extracurricular activities. This year's Outstanding Intern Award goes to Jane Samborn. Now I'd like to invite up Ms. Christina Sloan on behalf of the Special Education Department. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christina Sloan, and I'm the proud resource teacher for special education here at Wooten High School. I'm so excited to be here tonight to present the Exceptional Intern Award. The following students have demonstrated outstanding service as a student intern supporting students here at Wooten in the autism and school community-based programs. These students have provided daily support in the academic and physical education classrooms. This peer-to-peer -peer support is an extremely valuable component of the educational and social-emotional experience here at Wooten for our students with differing abilities. Please join me in celebrating these amazing student interns. <laughs> Luis Arajo. <laughs> Jordan Balat. <laughs> Ava Bull. Matthew DeLeon. <laughs> Shayna Gittleson. <laughs> Alan Gully. <laughs> Danny London. <laughs> Jaron Mondel. Jordan Needleman. Ted Otengo. Josie Starr. Again, congratulations and thank you to all of our exceptional student interns. I'm now going to turn it back over to Mr. Hitchens. Very important, that is. To me again, hi, thank you. Uh, our next outside presenter uh, for our non-school-based award uh, is going to be um, Petty Officer Alexander Hoffman uh, from the Navy ROTC to announce uh, a, a Navy ROTC scholarship. Petty Officer Hoffman. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for the lovely introduction. Uh, as you said, my name is Petty Officer Hoffman. I am the Navy Reserve Officer Training Corps Scholarship Coordinator for the nation's capital region. Uh, tonight, I'm here to present a scholarship. Uh, every year, tens of thousands of young Americans go to join the United States Armed Forces, and thousands more hopeful students apply for different scholarships for different programs. This specific scholarship only had 88 billets for the entire state of Virginia and Maryland combined. And today, I, <clears throat> excuse me, today I'm more than happy to award a $200,000 four-year full-ride scholarship to Ryan Bender. Congratulations, Ben. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you guys for your time. Have a pleasant evening. Y'all take care. Big check. It's pretty cool. My name is Kearney Blandemer, and I'm one of the coordinators of the Aspire program. Aspire is a comprehensive mentoring program that helps ease the transition from middle school to high school for ninth and 10th graders. It promotes academic success through mentoring and support in self-advocacy, resilience, persistence, and integrity. This year's Aspire Award winner is a 10th grade student who is a model of academic achievement, positivity, resilience, and personal responsibility. It is my great pleasure to announce this year's award winner, Mac Healy. Thank you. No, you're the one. Now we go back down. Thanks. Inspired. Uh, I will now be followed by Anne Marie Stepling, the coordinator of the Patriot Ambassadors Program. All right, good evening. So my name is Anne Marie Stepling. I'm one of the co-sponsors of the Patriot Ambassador Club along with Meredith Lang. Uh, the Patriot Ambassadors are students that support our administration, our staff, and community at various school events throughout the year, including orientation, school plays, and we're getting ready for the class of 2022's graduation. Mm, yay! Where's you are not excited. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're gonna work on that, right? Um, so each year, the Patriot Ambassador Eagle Award is given to two Patriot Ambassadors who have demonstrated a commitment to the organization uh, and the Wooten community as a whole. This year, our Eagle Award recipients have been, um, have been chosen by Ms. Lang and myself, and each of these ambassadors embodies our standards of excellence, character, scholarship, leadership, friendship, service, citizenship, communication, and enthusiasm. In addition to demonstrating these standards of excellence, these students encourage their peers to excel both in and out of the classroom. That's why this year we are excited to give the Patriot Ambassador Eagle Award to Maya Chalar and Ethan Fain. <laughs> And now I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mr. Al Leitze from Athletics. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Al Leitze. I am the athletic director at Wooten High School, and uh, I am here to give out two athletic awards. Um, we, uh, we give out two awards, the Distinguished um, Athlete Award, one for a non-senior and one for a senior. And uh, this year we had uh, about 1,700 student athletes to choose from. There were quite a few that were deserving, but uh, I feel good about uh, the two that were selected. Um, I'm going to uh, start with the, um, the non-senior. Um, I'm going to read his name, and I think he's here, but I'm not sure if he's here. Um, and then I had each of their coaches um, just say a few words about them, so I'll be reading that as they, as they come up. Um, but the Distinguished Athlete Award for a non-senior goes to Mr. Aiden Wang. Uh, uh, 
I, I, I didn't see him here, um, but I will go ahead and, and read uh, what his coach wrote about him. Um, uh, coach Kevin Fisher says, Aiden Wang finished his 2021-2022 season as one of the top divers in the state of Maryland. Uh, he was second at the 4A state championships and first at the 4A West regionals. He was also named a 2020 NISCA High School All-American. Um, probably his uh, best quality is uh, the fact that he is a tremendous teammate, helping many new divers with little to no experience reach new levels through his leadership and coaching at practices. He was named a captain for the 2022-2023 school year and has verbally committed to dive at Princeton University after he graduates. Uh, and our senior uh, distinguished athlete award goes to Samantha Bowles. Uh, Samantha, the, the things that I know about Samantha, I, well, I know several things, but uh, some of the awards that uh, she's already won this year, she was the Montgomery County Player of the Year, she was also a Montgomery County All-Star, and she was second team All-Met in girls volleyball this year. Um, her coach, um, Coach Mary, wrote this about her. If a coach were to create an athlete to lead a team, it would... Uh, it would be likely that they would come up with someone pretty close to Samantha Bowles. She was the first one in the gym and the last one out each day, spending every moment she could either improving her already elite level skills or making her teammates uh, happy uh, and productive uh, for the team itself. Her positive outlook and kind disposition belie her fierce competitiveness and high standards. She strikes the delicate balance uh, between those things, sprinkles in a good dose of humility, a mischievous sense of humor, and heartfelt gratitude. Not a day went by uh, when I didn't hear at the, last, at the last thing when I left the gym, Sam's voice saying, thank you, Coach Mary. It was a joy and a privilege to coach her for four years. Congratulations, <laughs> Samantha Bull. Uh, and I know you're getting tired of him, but I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Nick Hitchens. I'm getting tired of me too, Mr. Lightsey. Thank you. So I have one more award to announce here tonight, um, and just uh, and, and person to announce too. Uh, but I just want to make sure that I am, in fact, going to be the one doing it. So, Ms. Williams, are you here by any chance? All right. Um, so, I, uh, it's my pleasure then to announce um, the uh, Sam Williams Foundation Leadership Award. Uh, Sam Williams was a student here uh, who lost his life um, uh, in an untimely way uh, far, far too early. Uh, but we have established um, a, uh, a leadership foundation in his name, and every year uh, an award goes to an outstanding student. So, reading, um, Sam's family has established the Sab Samuel Williams Leadership Foundation in his memory. The purpose of the award award is to highlight positive and inspiring character traits in youth and promote leadership training for teens. Sam, Sam's core positive traits were trustworthiness, responsibility, uh, uplifting, and, and enthusiasm. These traits are highlighted in the Be True Leadership Award at Wooten High School. The recipient of this award was selected from applications um, from high-achieving students uh, throughout the high school. So it is my pleasure uh, to award the Sam Williams Leadership Award to Ms. Kelly Wren. Round of applause again, please. And now, to bring things home, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our principal, Ms. Kimberly Bolden. Thank you, Mr. Hitchens. 
I have the distinct pleasure of introducing a few awards this evening, and the first of which is the Early College Program. Earl, the Early College Program is a partnership between Montgomery County Public Schools and Montgomery College where our students earn their high school diploma while also earning their associate's degree at Montgomery College. We are so very excited uh, that Wooten has an exceptional group of seniors who have achieved this honor. Please join me in congratulating the following early college graduates. Lucas Bowen. Alicia Cathy. Casey Claxton. Nikki Rose Perugi. Akil Gunda. Advit Ayer. Jack Morrison. And Selma McMeldon. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our early college students. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our early college graduates. Thank you. All right, thank you. The next award um, that I will be presenting is for our Equity Warriors. For the past two years, seniors who have facilitated student staff study circles, structured dialogues about race and equity, have been the recipients of our Equity Warrior honors. As study circle facilitators, both last year and this year, seniors Elizabeth and Liz Lizzie have actualized Wooten's vision to create an inclusive community of learners. Their work has been instrumental in bringing our goal of having every staff member participate in a student staff study circle. Anna has been instrumental in the coordination and implementation of all restorative justice students events this year. Additionally, she is involved in the following equity focused extracurricular activities. President of the Black Student Union, student chair of the Black History Month program, Restorative Justice Student Committee, co-chair of the International Night Planning Committee, and the Student Community Circles, Community Circles Initiatives. Please join me in congratulating Anna Olisa, Elizabeth Ipe, and Lizzie Nelson. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Congratulations, Lizzie. Congratulations, Anna. These three have the titles of being our equity warriors. Congratulations to you all. <laughs> Student service learning. As many of you know, all students must earn 75 student service learning hours as part of their graduation requirement. So many of our students far surpass this requirement, earning them meritorious honors for SSL. Tonight, we honor the top three students who earned the most SSL hours at Wooten. With an impressive 1,066 hours, Brian Kim. with an also impressive 1,275 hours, Nikki Rose Ferrugi. Congratulations. And this year's top SSL honors with 1,605 hours. Dylan, when did you sleep? Dylan Safai. 
Congratulations, Ms. Thank you, Ms. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. <laughs> Congratulations, SSL recipient. <laughs> The next award is our Governor's Awards Award, excuse me. Winners of the Governor's Merit Scholastic Award is awarded each year to the top 5% of the graduating class. The criteria for the award is based on the highest cumulative GPA. This year's recipients are Ashita Adarsh. Roshni Arun. <laughs> Leona Berhain. <laughs> Samantha Bowles. <laughs> Lawrence Boo. Shelby Cantor, Samuel Chow, Amber Chen, Catherine Cohen, Nicholas De Palma. Neha Niadanal Young. <laughs> Jonah Geisner. <laughs> Jasmine Gong. <laughs> Iris Gu. <laughs> Brett Halpern. Ray Kong, <laughs> Samantha Keller, <laughs> Annika Kokarni, <laughs> Alana Lee, <laughs> Benjamin Lee, <laughs> Max Lee. Benjamin Margolin, <laughs> Natalie Matikin, <laughs> Ellie Metz, <laughs> Nadia Myrovich, <laughs> Mia Mikowski, <laughs> Shannon Newell. Kirthi Panmabhan, <laughs> Isabel Park, <laughs> Divya Filippos, <laughs> Nicholas Key, <laughs> Hannah Ra, <laughs> Krishna Tiparharju. Sophie Umansky, <laughs> Sharutha Vinkatesan, <laughs> Shriya Bayu, Babu, excuse me, Brandon Wang, <laughs> Carolyn Wang, <laughs> Justin Wang. Nicole Wasserman, Brady Weiss, Rose Wen, Miles Wiley, Iris Yang, 
And last but not least, Hannah Zhu. Congratulations. 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 Give a round of applause for all of our governor merit winners. Thank you all very much. Congratulations. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an annual academic competition for recognition in, co in college undergraduate scholarships. There were 16,000 semifinalists who were the highest scoring program participants in each state, and from there, there were 15,000 finalists. Wooten had 19 National Merit finalists. Please join me in congratulating the following National Merit finalists. Man Manav Alampalam. Lawrence Boo. Nicholas De Palma. Going to slow down because I think some of them are coming back into the auditorium again. Jasmine Gong. Kelly G. She Rashmika Kanepakula. Anika Kakarni. Benjamin Lee. Charles Mash. Kirthi Panaban. Okay. Ishwak Kradri. <laughs> Nicholas Kui. Anjali Samadivan. <laughs> Sophie Yumansky. Rutha Vincantesan, <laughs> Shriya Babu, Brandon Wang, Justin Wang, and last but not least, Michael Wang. Congratulations. No, not yet. <laughs> Congratulations to all of our National Merit finalists. Congratulations to all of our National Merit finalists. Well done. Jasmine, you can stay. Okay. The last award of the evening is our Hall of Fame award. Each year, Congratulations. Each year, our current Hall of Fame recipient announces the next recipient. Please join me in welcoming our current Hall of Fame recipient, Ms. Jasmine Gong, who, who will announce the 2023 Hall of Fame finalists and recipients. Ja Jasmine? All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Jasmine Gong, and I've had the honor of being Wooten's Hall of Famer for the 2021 to 2022 school year. <laughs> Over the past four years at Wooten, I've had the privilege of leading our school's marching band and drumline, as well as our wrestling team. And I know some of you guys are thinking, like, there's no way this five foot one girl wrestles. But I just want you to know that I'm 5'2 on a good day. At least that's what I put on my driver's license. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but for a majority of my high school wrestling career, I was the sole girl on the wrestling team. And um, because of that, I learned how to advocate for myself. And that has led me to help reform statewide wrestling regulations and working with Ms. Bolden and Mr. Lightsey to improve inclusivity in our, rest in our athletic culture here at Wooten. And this desire to help the Wooten community is one of the main qualities embodied by the Hall of Famer Award. Every year, one rising senior is selected for Wooten's Hall of Fame Award. Nominated students have shown distinct qualities of leadership, academic achievement, and overall well-roundedness. All of our finalists tonight have demonstrated these qualities not only in the classroom, but by making positive marks in the world around them. So as I say your name, you can just come on stage. Max Choi is a Patriot Ambassador. junior class president, and even ran for student member of the board this year to advocate for the concerns of the student body. His efforts have demonstrated his intrinsic desire to help the Wooten community. Maya Gotsman is a varsity cross country and track athlete, a member of the Jewish Student Union, English Honor Society, the NHS Junior Board, and SGA. By excelling as both a scholar and an athlete, she has made it her priority to give back to the Wooten community. Zara Okudo <laughs> is on the Varsity Girls Soccer Team, co-president of Wooten Tutoring and English Honor Society, and has earned over 950 SSL hours. She also writes poetry and is a Mathnasium instructor and her care for the local community is clearly demonstrated through the time that she is dedicated to volunteering. And Ana Olisa <laughs> is the president of the Black Student Union and the Zero Waste Club, a member of NHS and the Restorative Justice Student Committee, and a board member for the 2022 MCPS Youth Climate Summit. Her advocacy for black students and the environment demonstrates her desire to foster a compassionate and considerate community. Give it up for all of our finalists this year. And again, all of our finalists tonight have made significant marks on the world around them in addition to their high academic achievements. The Wooten administration could not be more proud of the empathy and the ambition exemplified by the student body. But now is the moment that you have all been waiting for. Your next Wooten Hall of Famer for the 2022 to 2023 school year is... Ana Lisa! That is all I have. Thank you, Jasmine, and congratulations to all of our Hall of Fame finest, finalists and Anna, our Hall of Fame award winner this evening. All of our um, finalists and our award winner will receive a $100 award from Wooten High School and um, a, our wonderful thanks for everything that you've done to make this an amazing place. Congratulations to you all. <laughs> All right, well, we are there at the end of our program. Has this been a fantastic night or what? Another round of applause for all of our students. So we want to do two things before we leave. First, I want to say thank you to Mr. Nick Hitchens, um, who is the organizer of this fantastic program this evening. I would also like to thank our entire leadership team for being here this night. All of our presenters who came out to join us here at Wooten, thank you so much. You truly embody what it means to be a community. Mr. Kenny Jacobs, our media specialist and the Patriot Ambassadors for all of your amazing support this evening. Um, and we wanna thank you all parents for allowing us the, the privilege of working with your students and for being here with us. Before you leave, there are a few 
few things. One, our amazing acapella group, the Akatonics, are here and they want to close out our performance. Um, they have been amazing this, this year in placing in quite a few um, competitions and they are led by Mr. Keith Schwartz. And I would also like to remind all of the students, your parents want pictures. So please make sure at the end of our program, um, you get some pictures um, where the Akatonics are going to close out for us. Thank you all very much for joining us this evening. Get home safely. And I turn the stage over to our Akatonics. Thank you. 